Hey, so I'm going to show you a really cool trick uh, to take data from Excel and put it into PowerPoint. Now, I was doing this because I wanted to create some um, vocabulary flashcards, uh, but this also could work for um, award certificates, um, project management reports, um, a bunch of different applications. Anytime you have data in categories and you want to create slides, um, that show different data for each category. Um, and if that didn't make sense, you'll see what I mean in a minute. This process um, has a lot of steps, but the steps are pretty simple. Um, so like I said, I was creating flashcards, and my flashcards are going to have an English word, a Russian word, and the definition. So the first thing I've done is I've put those headers in there. And I might just bold those just to remind myself that those are headers. You need the headers so that you know um, where to put the information later. And then, uh, obviously, under English, I have English words. I can have as many of those as I want. There's no limit to this, as far as I know, um, unless your computer is slow. Um, and then I have the Russian equivalent. Um, and then I have a definition. Um, and I just typed this up for, uh, for demonstration purposes. So please don't, and testing, so please don't criticize my definitions. Um, I don't think I made any spelling mistakes in Russian, though, so I'm very proud of myself. Um, now, I'm going to save this. Now, I've saved this as definition list merge. Um, I think it's important to include the word merge in there or source file so you know that this file exists to be merged into the other data. And then um, Microsoft likes it when you close things before you merge. And then I'm going to open a Word doc. Now, in this Word doc, I'm going to go to the Mailings tab. Um, and then select recipients. And that's just, I'm going to tell it that I want to take data from um, that list that I just made. So I'm going to look for that list. On, don't judge my uh, um, uh, files on my desktop. <laughs> Definition list merge. And now I've only made one sheet, so it's easy. I just select sheet one. I think that makes life easier, but you could have multiple sheets with multiple different kinds of data if you're getting complicated. And I'm going to say, okay, and nothing happens. I need to go to insert merge field. And now here are my categories. Um, and then I can just decide, I want, do I want English to come first? Uh, let's do the English word then the Russian word, and then the definition. Now, the formatting here doesn't really matter. The only thing that I do have to do with this method is that you have to give everything a um, heading status. That's the one kind of weird thing. So, um, and every time you do heading one, it's going to create a new slide. So, um, in this case, I'm going to do something with English as heading one. Now, Russian has to be heading two. Now, I can format these later in PowerPoint. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to make Russian and the definition heading two. Um, now, let's say I wanted to do a flashcard where um, the word appeared in English, and then on the next slide was the Russian word and the definition. Um, then I would just make Russian heading one. And I'll keep definition as heading two. Um, or maybe I want, maybe this is a flashcard for Russian students learning English. So the first slide will just have the Russian word. That's heading one. I do another heading one for the English word. That tells it's a new slide. And then the definition is heading two. You can do whatever you want. Heading one creates a new slide, but everything has to be some kind of heading. Um, but to keep it simple, I'm just going to show you how this works on one slide. So I'm going to make the Russian word, fine, we'll make the Russian word the first thing, the title, um, and then these two are heading to. Um, awesome. And now um, I'm going to go back to my mailings tab. I'm going to save this, um, and I'm going to call this um, definitions merge again. And I'm going to just make my life a lot easier um, by saving it to the same exact place where I saved the other one. Temp. Boom. Okay. 
Um, and then I'm going to check for errors. There shouldn't be any. Um, and complete the merge without pausing report errors in a new document. Um, you could just do finish the merge. Now, see, now you've basically got a preview of your slides. See? Every H1 is a new slide. And here are all my words. Yay. Now I've got to close this. I'm going to save it again. I, I'm just a, Okay. Yeah, you got to save it again. <laughs> um, so I'm going to call this definitions merge final. And I'm going to close that. And I don't think I need to close this one, but I'm going to close it anyway. And now I'm going to open my PowerPoint, which I already have opened. And so I already have it open with a new presentation. And I'm going to go to new slide, slides from outline. Now that's what we just created in Word. When you have an H1, H2, H3, H4, that's an outline. Um, and by the way, you can keep going to that level. You, you can have as many headings, as many levels as you want. Um, now I'm going to select that document, Definitions Merge Final. That was the last document I created. It has all my words on it and definitions. And Insert. It takes it a minute. Obviously it takes it longer, depending on how big it is. And there you go. Chelevec, person, definition, human being, singular. Robota, work, your job, or a task. And notice the ones we called H1, you know, obviously they're bigger, and then H2 is different. Now, that's maybe works for you. Um, but if you want to get fancy with the design, then you can go to View, Slide Master. Um, and now you can edit all the styles on the slide. This is, by the way, it's something you can do in PowerPoint anytime you want to. Good trick to know if you want to create your own designs. Um, and um, so this is the title, um, design. Anything you do to that, every one of your titles in your slide is going to do the same thing. And in this case, it's that H1 that we created in the Word doc, the Russian word. So I can, um, oh, so I can go back to my home tab and I can do anything I want with this. I can change. Uh, the font. Um, I have to be a little careful because I have to make sure it's a font with Russian words. Um, Russian font, but you know, if you don't have Russian, you don't have to worry about it. Um, right, I can change it. So I can change the font. Um, that's stupid. I can change the color. I can even change the position. Maybe I want to put my Russian word. Um, you can't see that. <laughs> I can change position and put it down at the bottom of my slide, right? Um, I also have a footer it adds on. Now, the footer is optional, um, but I certainly could go here to my footer. That means um, slide number, and I could do a dash four. So it's going to show at the bottom now. Um, and I'll make that black so it shows up. Um, I can add, So I can add a footer. Um, all that stuff. Um, this is H2. So in this case, if in our example, that's the English word and the definition word. I automatically just, this is H2. This would be H3, H4. It's a little confusing. Um, so H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Um, now, it's only what you have in your slide that's going to show up. So I can, if I, I can mess with the fifth level all I want, but I don't have any H6 headings in my file, so nothing's going to happen. Um, but for example, with this, I want to, um, you know, it's the, that's the English word and the definition, so I'm going to add a little bit of spacing there. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe I want to center it. And it's doing it to everything, but I don't really care. So I can play around with that as much as I want, and then when I'm done, I'm going to go to my Slide Master tab, Slide master tab, and I'm going to say close master um, view. Um, oh, but before I do that, just notice background styles. So I can change the background um, here. If I press format background, I get all my background tools over there. So I could add a picture, or I could just make a different, maybe I'll make the whole thing yellow, 
right? I can add shapes. I can do anything I want with this. Um, and then when I'm done, slide master, close master view, close master view. And there it is. Person, Chelevec, H1 is down there, and there's my definitions. Um, probably would make that a little bigger and maybe move Chelevec over a little bit, but I think you get the idea. So that is a um, easy, simple, maybe not simple way to put data on from an Excel worksheet to a slide, PowerPoint slide presentation. And you can see it's done by the way, all of them. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that's helpful for you. And uh, let me know if you have any questions um, at um, info at alphabetpublishingbooks.com.